Hey, what's up? It's your boy Taylor Grant here with Bellator Claims Resolution. I'm here to talk to you about the denial of the day. Today's comes to us from Alex of Greeley, Colorado. I took another day off of work and met with the contractor and the insurance company adjusters. Two of them. These two adjusters do a quick 30 minute look over my property and tell me that there's no damage to either of the roofs. The house roof is just age damage and there's no damage to the detached garage whatsoever. But they did see hail damage to the siding. Hmm. We'll talk about that here in a second. Even though the previous independent inspector, which I'm assuming is an independent adjuster, and virtual adjuster found and agreed there was hail damage. So the first people found and agreed there was hail damage, and now all of a sudden on the reinspect, there's no hail damage. Magically, it all just disappeared. How is that possible? Hmm, we'll talk about that here. Uh, let's see. Uh, when I asked why the conflicting information from the first adjuster, he had no answer and stated that they, the person that they sent out was just a photographer. Okay, He absolutely was not. I met and spoke with this man. I believe he was more knowledgeable about the storm damage than the insurance company adjuster was. So, so many things. I'm going to just keep this up here so I can read. So, how is it possible that the first adjuster comes out, takes a look at the property, and then the second adjuster comes out, takes a look at the property, and the first one says, yeah, there's damage. The second one's like, no, there's no damage. Hail damage is subjective. Okay, that's the first thing. Is Some people might see it, some people might not. But this is the problem. If the insurance company already admitted hail damage, and now they're trying to rescind their position, you, as the policyholder, need to get somebody involved. If it's a public adjuster like us, or if it's an attorney that you might need a referral from us for, that's not fair. Okay, so if the first party says, yes, there's hail damage, the second party says there's no hail damage at all, what's actually going on, right? Then, there was a virtual adjuster, okay? These virtual adjustments just aren't fair, usually. If it's in your favor and you're getting all the money that you need to fix your property, then I think that's pretty fair. But if your claim is denied by a virtual adjustment, meaning they talk about this person's a photographer, right? And that's what they're doing is they're, these insurance companies are hiring photographers or people just to document the damage that they might not even know what the damage is, right? So in this case, it sounds like the guy did know, but a lot of times it's just a drone, a virtual a adjustment with a drone. Don't ever take a denial from a drone or a virtual adjustment seriously. You need to push back on the insurance company and make sure that you are getting what is due to you truly from the legitimate storm damage that has occurred at your property, okay? This is Colorado. It is now summertime. It is gonna get crazy with hail. It's already started, but I'm thinking it's gonna get even crazier, and due to the moisture that we've had this year, I believe that the storms are gonna be later. The hail storms are gonna be in July, maybe August, and when we've had them into September, right? Which is crazy, and I think that might happen again. Obviously, I don't know, right? I am no weatherman, although I do play one on TV. Just kidding. But this is the deal. Never take a denial from a virtual adjustment. If it's an adjuster on the phone, they're like looking at a phone, like, you know, the damage on an iPhone or something like that, or a drone. Do not take those as being a serious adjustment because they're not. It's complete BS. Fight those. Fight those. Fight those. Okay? Uh, let's see. Yeah, so, I mean, that, that was pretty much it. Okay? If you need help fighting these BS virtual adjustments, um, call us, let us know. And I just want to say, the reason that these companies are doing it is because it is cheap. It is cheap for them. It is way cheaper to send out somebody that's not licensed, that can take pictures, that knows how to take pictures, or fly a drone. It's way cheaper to do that than sending a licensed adjuster or an adjuster that actually knows what the hell they're doing to your property to adjust that claim. So fight back, okay? If you have questions, let us know. BellatorClaims.com. My name is Taylor Grant. That is BellatorClaims.com. Contact us today.